Hi guys, my name is Katie and welcome to this Key Stage 2 maths video for understanding percentages. Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of my Key Stage 2 maths videos as well as my English videos that I've recently done. And for more information on all of my Key Stage 2 products, please check out howtobecome.com where you can purchase all of these guides that I've um, spoken about in all of my videos. Okay, so within those Key Stage 2 guides, like I've just mentioned, we have our fun-loving superhero characters that are there to help you and your child achieve 100. So let's get straight into it. So understanding percentages. So examples of 60% means 60 out of 100. 25% means 25 out of 100. So basically, percentages are basically a number that is written out of 100. So you have a percentage over 100. So it's a bit like a fraction. So percentages are used to work out parts of numbers. So for example, 25% of something is equivalent to 1 quarter or 0.25. So it depends what you're working with, whether you're working with percentages or fractions or decimals. So to work out the percentage of a number, i.e. 35% of 300, you should always use the following method, which guarantees that you'll get the correct answer. Okay, so for example, 35% of 300. So step one, so you would do 300 divided by 100%, which would give you three. And to work out how to divide by 100, you simply move the decimal point two places to the left, okay? And because you can't see the decimal point here, it would be at the very end of the whole number, okay? So the, just imagine there was a decimal point there. You would move it back one, two spaces there to work out um, division of 100. So then you would end up with three. And then you do three times whatever percentage you're looking for. So three times 35 is 105. So 105 is 35% of 300. Alternatively, you can convert the percentage into a decimal, so 35% becomes 0.35, and you can times that by 300 in order to get the answer of 105. So to work out what percentage of this shape is shaded, you first need to work out the total number of squares. So if you add up all of these squares, you realise there are 20. Next, you would have to work out how many squares are shaded, which is 10. So there are 20 equal parts, which means each square represents 5%. So 5 times 20 equals 100. So 5% times 10, which is the shaded squares, equals 50%. And this is quite an easy one because obviously 10 is half of 20, so you know half of the squares have been shaded in. So here is a quick breakdown of how to convert fractions into decimals into percentages, okay? So we've got one half is the same as 0 0.5, which is the same as 50%. A quarter is the same as 0 0.25, which is the same as 25%. Three quarters is the same as 0 0.75, the same as 75%, and so forth. I won't go through them all now, but you can pause the video and have a look at all of these conversions. Now, to convert percentages into decimals, so I suggest you write all of these notes down because this is how you work out each of them, okay? So, converting a percentage into a decimal, you would divide the percentage by 100. To convert decimals to percentages, you would multiply the decimal by 100. To convert fractions into percentages, you would divide the top number of the fraction by the bottom number to give you the decimal. And then you can multiply it by 100 to give you the percentage. And to convert fractions into decimals, if you're allowed to use a calculator, there's a simple way of converting this. So you would just simply divide the top number by the bottom number. So here is an example. So Emma earns £300 in two weeks. She spends 30% of her earnings on clothes for her upcoming holiday. How much should Emma spend? So how to work this out? So basically we've got £300 that Emma's earned in two weeks and she spent 30% of her earnings. So how much did she actually spend? So you would need to divide 300 by 100 and times that by 30% and that would give you £90. 
So in actual fact, Emma spent £90 of her earnings. Here is another example. So what percentage of the large square below is shaded? So here we've got a, um, a square and nine squares are shaded in and there's 36 squares in total which means that a quarter of the squares have been shaded in. So this is equivalent to a quarter which is the same as 25%. Okay, so that's a quick breakdown of understanding percentages. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you do have any queries or comments, make sure you drop them in the comments box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it is free and there's a whole range of other videos for you to watch. And thank you for watching. I hope this has helped and I wish you the very best of luck in your maths assessments.